We want to take a look at the Mandel Fleming model, um, assuming we have perfect capital mobility. And whilst capital, financial capital, might not be perfectly mobile, it is highly mobile in most of the developed economies. So what difference does it make to our monetary and fiscal policy if we're operating a fixed exchange rate? So let's take a look at an expansionary monetary policy. Say an increase in the money supply could be brought about through open market operations. That's going to cause your LM curve to shift to the right. And as it shifts to the right, we can see that our domestic interest rate falls below that prevailing in world markets. And what is that going to do? Financial capital seeks a higher yield or return on stocks and bonds, etc. So this is going to cause a financial capital outflow. And if we consider that before our balance of payments was in balance, now you have a capital um, outflow, it's going to put pressure on your currency to depreciate. Why? Because people don't want as much domestic money, they want more foreign money to purchase stocks and bonds abroad. So there's pressure on the currency to depreciate. But it can't depreciate because our priority is to defend that peg. We're operating a fixed exchange rate here. So trying to keep the rand to say as 14 rand to the US dollar. So the central bank therefore has to stand ready to preserve that peg. So it's the central bank is going to have to decrease the domestic money supply, taken money that people don't want in exchange for foreign money. And that's just going to cause a reversal of that initial increase. So our LM curve is now going to start to shift back to the left. And in fact, we'll never even reach E1. The minute the money supply starts to increase and the interest rate falls, um, the capital outflow and this pressure to depreciate is going to cause the central bank to have to decrease the money supply and this shifts back to the left. So we find that under the Mundell Fleming model, if we're operating a fixed exchange rate, fiscal policy is going to be more effective because monetary policy is totally ineffective here. And to see why fiscal policy is effective, we'll take a look now.